Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is a requested video. I'm going to try to do it on camera. I don't know how great this is going to go because I'm sitting at my desk. Look, my door to my, my closet's open, which is a, a never. So you never see that. But hey, look, there's shoes and all kinds of things in there. <laughs> that is my closet door. Oh well, forget the closet door's open. So this video is how I curl my hair with... Um, that curling wand true beauty curling wand so i'm going to attempt this <laughs> and my hair is naturally wavy it is not straight and if i try to blow dry it out straight it gets super super frizzy um usually my hair won't hold a curl and just all that good stuff that just goes wrong with finicky hair and so we're going to try this and see how it goes. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of heat protectant and this is old. I need to really just throw this away and get some new. It is um, got to be Guardian Angel. It is for flat irons but it's it's a heat protectant. So I'm just going to lightly kind of spray that around and give it a second to you know, kind of get in there. Then what I'm going to do is section off my hair and I'm just going to take like the crown and we're just going to twist this around and take a clip and clip it up in the, in the back there. Then I'm going to take what is down here on the bottom and divide it in half. See that? So this is one half of what's on the bottom. And then this is the other half. Just brush it to get all the kinks, all your kinks and knots out. So then with this, I'm gonna half it again, just using my finger. And I kind of feel to make sure I have like even pieces. So I'm gonna take the further back part. This should be screaming hot by now. And I start at the base. I'm going to try not to burn myself because it didn't come with the glove. So I have to hold the ends and you don't have to hold it long. And we'll see what that did. Let me adjust my mirror there so I can see. All right, so I'm going to take the next piece, kind of finger comb it. Same thing, start kind of at the base and wrap it around and you can tighten it up. And I just kind of slide it out and let that curl fall down. See that? Same thing the other side. All right, so making sure I'm not missing anything. Just kind of finger comb it and divide it in half. And this is where I get like confused. <laughs> I'm going backwards, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of going backwards. And oh, hot. I got to find me one of those gloves. I really do. Where Sally sells just the little silicone glove. It doesn't take long to put a little bit of a curl in there. All right. And this side always curls better. I don't know uh, because of just the direction, the direction. All right, so I'm going to take the clip out, and once again, I'm going to kind of divide it up, and my hair tangles very easy where it's fried. I'm trying to get this piece to let go, and then please don't let my curling her fall in my lap because she is scalding hot, and my hair is pretty much all one length. I think my bangs have just a hair bit more to go and it'll all be 
one length. All right, so once again, you're gonna come in with your pieces. I'm trying to find all those bits that are not curled. See that, that's curled, this is not. And give it another brush here. And again, we're going to divide it kind of in half and feel the thickness. This side feels thicker. So I'm going to take a little bit out of that right there. And you can do this big chunk, but I'm going to divide it again. And starting at the base. I count to about 20, 25, and see that curl gently layer down. All right, and then we're going to pick up this little bit right here. Same thing. Start at the base and then wrap it around. can prop your hand against the little black bit, but do not touch the barrel. She is scalding hot. And don't lay it down on your scalp either. Lord have mercy. And if you notice, I'm curling away from my face. All right, I feel a, a hair in my lip gloss there. All right, so that is that side. And again, we're going to find all the bits back in here that wasn't curled. And usually once I do this, I'll get my husband to look at the back and tell me if anything, if I missed anything. And we're going to divide that kind of into... This side is not as thick because, I don't know, it just seems like there's not as much hair on this side. So, I'm trying to divide it into like an even, even bit there. And then I'm going to divide it again like you saw me do. Starting at the base. Curling. We're almost done. Not much more. <laughs> oh. Kind of move it around a little bit. And you can always go back and curl sections if they didn't quite come out how you wanted. Um, I have actually used both curling irons. This one and the one that's like the, it's the same thickness all the way down. Just to give it different kind of, kind of texture on the curls. So the last little bit here. And just depending on how I want to style my hair that day, but I'm going to go ahead and kind of divide it in. The, that's a little offset, but we'll be all right. I usually divide it, part it on the side anyway. Again, I'm going to divide that kind of into three sections. See how I tighten it down? I pull up and then curl it back down. It's kind of how you tighten it up. My only complaint about this is if you're not careful, this will get your hair um, wrapped around that little section there for the base meets um, the the ferrule of the 
the wand, the actual curling wand. So you just gotta kind of be careful there, or it will catch up in here and pull your hair out. Yeah, I definitely need one of those gloves, though. But see? All right, let's see if we can do it on this side. <laughs> All right, so this is the section. I'm getting a little bit of curl in there, but that's okay. Comb that through because she's a little nappy. And again, we're going to section that off into three pieces. Starting at the base and curling up to the end. Yeah, this side, I don't know. I've not perfected this side. So, I have tried curling left-handed like holding the wand in my left hand. Um, I'm not great at it. This is giving you an idea. If you have a lot more hair than me, it will take you, of course, a lot longer um, to get this done. But it, it doesn't, it's not bad. See how I kind of pull up and then pull back down and pull up and pull back down. That tightens it up. Or you can loosen it up. Either way. Alright, I'm going to turn this baby off because she is scalding hot. Now once I have it like this, I'm just going to take my fingers and give it a bounce. See that? And then take um, your hairspray. This one is Ion Color from Sally's Beauty Supply. And on a little bit of height up at the top. So I just pull it up like that. Do you see that with my fingers? Now I keep this curl going away from my face. So I spray that really good. I'm gonna spray the front. Try not to use a whole lot of hairspray. Actually, let me turn that back on for a second. But if you see a spot that didn't curl quite as great as you wanted, take it out. Even with that little bit of hairspray. Or you can do this before the hairspray. Section that little piece out. Go back once again. This does not have a um, temperature setting. It's just one setting. You turn it on and that's what you get. Let's see if that done. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit better curl in there. And see with that hairspray on it, it really held on to that piece that time. That's how I curl my hair with that curling wand. I'm going to take this and just kind of go out that way with it because it's curling right into my eye. So I want to take that kind of out that way a little bit. And this piece I want to kind of stay it that way. 
turn you back off. Let's turn her back off. Because like I said, she is hot. But that's that's it. It's that easy. Um, like I said, it does take a little practice. And if you uh, miss some spots in the back, you can always go back in. Because I ask my husband all the time, did I miss a spot? Did I miss a spot? Or you can grab some little pieces to make it a little more piecey. It's no big deal. Um, it doesn't take that long. It's been 15 minutes and um, I mean you could totally get it done. See what I'm saying? Grab little pieces. Go back in with little pieces and make it more piecey, not big chunks. Um, you can totally do that with these pieces that look like they didn't hold their curls great. But yeah, that's that's all there is to it. You just give it a finger comb and but again, that is my only complaint about this one is this for the this base meets this little foot. That's really hot. This little foot that your your hair will get caught in that if you're not careful. I usually catch mine about every time I use it. I try not to. Um, and you just have that on and off switch. I do have a review on this way back in my video somewhere um i got it at tj maxx i think it was 16.99 but it's a great little curling wand it was supposed to have came with the glove but apparently somebody had opened the packaging and removed said glove but you can kind of break your pieces up so they're not so perfect but that's it guys that's that's how I curl my hair with the curling wand. It's really easy. So, yeah, if you liked this and you want to try a curling wand, you know, let me comment down below and let me know how it went. Uh, but you can find these curling wands anywhere. But like I said, I got this one at TJ Maxx. The name of it is True, True Beauty. And for, I think it was like $17. She works really, really good. Um, I had to run a little drop cord under my desk here so it would be long enough. So I'm going to unplug it because I do not like leaving these plugged in. And my next video, I've had a request for a smoky eye. So I'm actually going to do a day tonight. I'm going to take this look right here that I just did using the Naked One palette. And we're going to go from day to night using this palette. We're going to go really smoky and dramatic. So stay tuned for that on the next video. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing and commenting. And if you have any requests you want to see me do, leave those down in the comments. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.